Hi guys, you are watching Oracle Data Integrator video tutorial. This is Ravi. Today I am going to explain about load plans in ODI. What is load plan? What is load plan? And what are the advantages compared to packages? Advantages. Okay. So load plan directly if you want to say what is a load plan. A load plan is a again executable object in development or production. So packages and procedures and this are not available in production. Production means your only work request type as execution. So execution means you can access the operator. So operator you can see only scenarios on load plan. So load plan is an object we can use in development, we can use in UIT or we can use in production as well. So that is load plan. Load plan is a object we can use in production environment. There we can call your scenarios. There you can call scenarios. That scenario it may be procedure scenario or package scenario or interface scenario or variable scenario. Load plans will accept only scenarios. In load plant we can execute sequential run or parallel run. So go to here you can create a load plan in production or development. In production means operator go to load plans and scenarios click on new load plan name user defined I'm giving user defined name save this there. go to step step go to step step there you can define steps go to step step there you can define all your steps click on plus click on plus it will display required steps like sequential or parallel or condition based. Condition based means using case. Case is the expression using case we can run based on the condition. That condition again you have to use variables. Then for example I want to run some jobs as serial. Click on serial. It will add your step here. Okay. Then your cursor should be on serial step. Go to again plus run scenario step. So this is the way we can add a scenario to your step. Click on this. Browse your scenario. Whatever generated scenarios it will display as well as objects. See here. I want to add this scenario. Click next. Variable add the load plan with default started. Again click on your serial steps, adding one more job, run scenario steps, select your scenario, so this is 2, this 2 will go for sequential execution, that is serial execution. Then I want to run some jobs as parallel, go to here, add new job step as parallel step. See here, it's added parallel. Here again you can add your scenario. Same thing, run scenario step. Click on this, browse your scenarios, select your scenarios. Again click on parallel step, click on plus, run scenarios. Select your scenario. This two will execute as sequential. This two will execute as final. Okay. There. If you want to add any other job, click on the step and you can add. Then one more thing, go to root step. If you want to go for condition based, case condition. Case means you need to select a variable like this or browse any existing variable. 
to this is this is case then click on con add condition this is when when is for adding condition add condition so this is what so where we can add condition you need to open property inspector go to view property inspector so here you can find the conditions operators less than less than equal to difference equals greater than greater than equal do not know I'm going for equal is equal to 60 and giving value of 60 if the variable having 60 I'm giving a condition as 60 if both are same I want to run some scenario if both are same I want to run some scenario so you need to add scenario Marty, test the procedure if condition is true it will execute this procedure like this you can add multiple conditions again click on your case step you can add condition for this conditions it will accept only variables the variable you can pass any value here you can give any condition where we can find the condition in property inspector there we can find operator like this save your load plan this is the execute button. This is also execute button. You can click on this. So, for load plans also, agent is mandatory. For scenarios and load plans, agent is mandatory. So, variables, ID I am passing as 50. Default value I am passing as here, 50. Then here variable we are passing value as well sixteen okay. then. First time you will get error this one because you need a grant access for dbms underscore lock package. dbms underscore lock package. Open your SQL. Then grant the privileges. I'm logging as dba. Grant execute privileges on dbms underscore log package to user which user you want to give your work repository user where you are created your work repository go to repository connection that is our master so this is your master repository created database user that user need privileges to access dbms underscore log package again i'm giving number as 60 43. sorry it is uh, we created a work repository in different user that's why it's throwing error That work repos are created in WD master. Okay. D master. Or work. Okay. Work repos are available in R work. Database user, then log plan started because that grant was 
missing earlier mark power two. sessions you can see today's sessions So this all up. You can go for load from the execution. Okay, this is. So first you got paid. This is about success. This is about steps. So this is also executed. See? Because value is 60, variable value have counted as 60. Total row count you can see here each job wise. This is job start time. And time. Then, if you pass different value in this case, so it will file your condition, it won't run that procedure. I'm passing QP as this ID. Now I can refresh. So it's finished. Open this. See? The value is here is a variable. Variable value passed as 50. The condition is available as 60. So both are false the condition is false that's why it is not executed there is one more condition you can add that is else if nothing is qualifying it will go for else this else if you want to run any job you can run the job like this okay. so this is load plans load plans mean you can go for sequential run, that is serial run, parallel run, condition based. Condition means using case. One important thing here, it is accept only scenarios. It will accept only scenarios. You cannot use direct objects like in package you can use direct objects, but here you cannot use. And another disadvantage here, a variable, you can use only one type of variable, that is whatever you are using the variable in direct declare variable you cannot go for condition variable you can you can't go for set variable you can't go for refresh variable if you are going for refresh variable that is only possible in package so package only it is possible multiple types of variable so there you can find this variable you can use four types Declare, evaluate, that is condition based, a refresh, you said. This evaluate is nothing but your case that will satisfy requirement. Declare you can use, but a refresh and set a variable you cannot use. Only you can use in package. You have to use in package that you need to refresh as a scenario in your load plan. So only scenario you need to use that package scenario in your load plan. Then there is one more step called exception. When something got failed, so in package we have red color cable. That is failure step. Same thing in load plan, that is exception. If some step got failed, you want to, it will go for your exception block. There you want to run any scenario, like sending a mail. So scenario, you can create any procedure. That procedure you can generate scenario. That scenario you can call here. That is add your scenario. Any scenario you can add. But normally exception which will add any sending mail or inserting error message into some temporary table. So this is. So any step got failed, it will copy your exception block. What about restart? So there is a different options available we have. A restart from failure, restart from all children. This job having two child, right? For example, first one success, second one got failed. Restart from fail means it will fail, start from only this one. All children means two jobs will restart. 
same thing for other steps as well. See here. Then each scenario again different options. Each scenario, for example, this is interface or package or procedure. There again you have multiple steps. That is called starting from fail step, starting from fail task, starting as a new session. Okay? It may be LKM level or IKM level. So you want to start from particular step. Or you want to restart from complete new session. So that is the new session. A root level, again here same two options. A restart all children, a restart from failure. It failed from here, it will start from here. A restart from all children's name, it will restart whatever success or failure it will go. It will restart all jobs. So that is a restart option available. But how to restart? Go to your load plan, right click, restart. Currently it is success, you can't get a restart. Only failed jobs only you can see restart option. Actually this job is not succeeded because of DBMS log. How to kill a job, current execution job? Normal. It will wait for session. It will wait for current any step running, it will wait for to finish that. For example, I don't want to finish that step itself directly. That is stop immediate. Stop immediate means it will kill current job as well. That is whatever you have a current step. For example, this is having a 10 step. Currently it is executing this one. It will wait for finishing this step. That is called normal. Immediate means it won't wait for any step. Whatever running also, it will immediately it will kill the session. That is called stop normal, stop immediate. So fail job again, you will get option called restart. So this is called load plans in ODA. So you have to remember this thing only how to add six steps that is serial or parallel or condition based. How to assign your scenario. Click on your main step, assign your scenario. Again in CL, inside serial you can add parallel that is hierarchical. Inside parallel you can add serial like this. You can go for hierarchical execution like this. Serial, parallel, again serial. So this is called load plan major advantages. This two, this three will start every time. But again inside this serial job. So this is called new plans. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any queries, you can send a mail or you can comment on my video. Thank you.